Good day viewers, Sepp here. I thought what we'd do today is we'll go out to the caravan and we'll take the cover off the uh, 28 litre Swift hot water service and we'll have a bit of a look at it and um, I might be able to tell you a couple of things that you may or may not know. Okay, I'm at the side of the caravan and we're going to show you how to get this cover off this system. Okay. So you know it's a Swift model numbers G E H W B, which is on the back of the unit here. So you can double check what you've got if you're interested in this model. There it is here. So you got your inlet, black one. You've got your outlet here for hot water, and this one here is your relief pressure relief valve, which sits here. So there's a couple of things that you may or may not know that I've seen on YouTube where they say that um, these Swift 28 litre stainless steel hot water systems do not have an anode. Well that is incorrect. If you have a look at the um, instructions of the manual, it does say it does have an a anode and it sits in behind the, the cold water inlet which is right here. So you have to unscrew this to get this out. The anode sits in behind here and you just fish it out with a wire apparently but uh, because it's stainless steel you don't have to change it like the traditional ones where um, they recommend to change every six months or thereabouts depending on what water you're putting in uh, the other thing is um, with these units they're sort of saying that you, you shouldn't use bore water in them anyway um, and if you do it depends on how often you use it you might want to have a look at this anode um, and now the other thing is you may or may not know is this pressure relief valve is just like one you got at home on your water system in your house every six months they recommend that you come out lift this valve up and this of course is done with the water in it hot and this is the pressure relief valve to see if it's working you just lift it all the way up I won't do it at the moment it's not actually hot you lift it all the way up and then that releases the pressure down and it comes out here there it is there that red line there, that's where the actual water comes out when you actually release that pressure. Now if the pressure doesn't come out there, that means it's blocked and that needs to be rectified. So yeah, so that's what it's sort of really about. Like I said, I've seen quite a few YouTube videos or a couple anyway that do say that these Swifts don't have an anode. Well, that's incorrect, they do. And it's located in behind here. And we'll get it back on. So just got a couple of tags at the back here. Just there that go in the side of the unit, just here and here. Just line it up. Just put the screws back in. I like to start these with a screwdriver before I use a drill. It's not much of a turn anyway to get them in. If you use the drill to actually screw them in, sometimes you can strip the threads. So I prefer to use a screwdriver and something like this. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Take it easy and see you on the next one.